when you come to LSU, you want to be elite. You want to recruit elite players, and you want to be coached by elite. And uh, the development that our coaching staff has done with these young men has been a great accomplishment. Tiger fans, we got an unexpected weekend off when the Florida game was postponed, but the Tigers were back right here in Death Valley to face South Carolina. We hear Coach O's thoughts on the weekend, also sit down with the veteran on LSU's roster and more. I'm Emily Dixon, and this is another edition of Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Ross's Markets, official supermarket of LSU Athletics. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Bud Light. There's a Bud Light there. Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. No place on earth like Tiger Stadium after dark. Prime time of the Delta. College football is all about the noise, about the energy. The most electric atmosphere anywhere in football. The stadium starting to shake. Death Valley roars to life. There are a few better than the one you're about to witness here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. No place on earth quite like it. The deafening display of unity with a passionate faithful of LSU. It's a big touchdown, LSU! Bravo. Derek Stingley made the pick. Touchdown, Louisiana State. Welcome to Death Valley. Well, upon his dream, come to die. You've seen Zach Von Rosenberg punting for the Tigers for the last four years, but that's a line he never thought he would hear to describe himself. LSU digital reporter Cody Worsham sat down with the former MLB draft pick to talk about his winding road that led him to punting for the Tigers as one of the oldest players in college football. If I told my parents something, they never said, oh, you need to be careful. I have one of my teachers in elementary school say that. I told her I want to be a professional baseball player. And she said, now, Zach, you need to make good grades. And, you know, <laughs> you need to be realistic here. And uh, I still remember that because that bothered me for a long time. But she was doing the right thing. Yeah. She was telling a, a, a seven-year-old kid <laughs> something that they needed to hear. Yeah. Give us like the, the quick version of your baseball career, the winding road that led you to LSU. The cliff notes. Yeah. Um, well, I got drafted in 2009 out of Zachary High School. I immediately went to rookie ball. Um, and then uh, I had one year in rookie ball. The following year, I went to spring training. Then went to low A the following year, repeated that level because I didn't pitch as well as I could have. And then I kind of had lingering injuries that year and the following year. And, I, and, and again, at the end of the day, the, there's a lot of guys like that in, in baseball. I just wasn't the one that could overcome them in terms of my career. Um, and I, I really, like I said, it, it, even talking about it now, it's still like, man, like, I can't believe I wasn't able to do it. All that struggle probably allowed me to succeed here. I want to dig into your story a little bit, though. And I want to start with the letter or the email that you wrote Sam Nader when you finished your baseball career. I was, I was writing out exactly what I wanted to happen. And uh, obviously that didn't happen. I became a punter, I didn't play quarterback. Uh, but I wrote in that email that I wanted to win a national championship at LSU. And fast forward four years later, we, sh we sure did it. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's crazy, uh, you, you know, it, they say they, it, speaking, uh, you know, speaking things into existence is a thing. And, and for me and in my life, it 100% has been a thing. And it's something that, that I'll continue to do because it's, it's been working for me. I've, I've failed and I've failed a lot, but 
uh, I, you know, with the failures has come a lot of success too. You found a way, like you found your path to where you're supposed to be at LSU. Was that your mentality coming in? It was like, hey, I just want to figure out where I fit in in the program, was, or was it a completely different mentality? I, I had to hit that wall. Um, I got to a certain point when I was taking, doing quarterback drills and whatnot and throwing the ball around where I was like, shoot, Brandon Harris and Danny Edlin look pretty good. Like I'm not, I don't think I'm, I'm, too, I'm too far behind to really make an impact at this position immediately. And then when I went to the tight end room, I was like, okay, I'm in, a, I'm in a better fit now. I have a chance and opportunities. We had so many guys injured. Talking to Steve Ensbinger, Steve Ensbinger would be real with me. Yeah, you know, and straight shooter. The, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Cam Cameron at the time was real with me. He, he suggested that I punt. Yeah. Cam Cameron was the guy who said, you know, I think you'd, you'd be a good punter. I've seen you messing around at practice. Have you had those conversations with your teammates like, hey, I know we're one and two. We would much rather be three and zero, oh, but this is reality. Let's learn from this. Let's lean into this, and it can be the it's foundation. Exact, of it's else. exactly. It's a great way to put it. We're we're leaning into failure right now, and uh, with that being said, it's how do you respond? Uh, you know, we like I said. Well, I've already said this a couple times. We have astronomical amount of talent, but it's translating all that talent into an organized effort on the field. As long as we do and can control what we can control and go at every game and with a mindset and an attitude that we're going to demand more from ourselves, I think we'll be in a good spot this year and especially in following years because so many guys will gain good experience from that. You seem like a guy that like once you get passionate about something like you deep dive on it, um, whether it's punting or pitching or... I have to do things right. Yeah. I can't, I can't cut corners. I can't... Um, there's no shortcuts. Yeah, it's just it just is what it is. You gotta. If I'm gonna be a good punter, I'm gonna be a, a good punter, and I'm gonna do everything it takes to be a good punter. There's a right way to do things, but there's a bunch of different ways you can get to doing it the right way. There's not one way and one path. You have to do things to be successful. Stay tuned for more inside LSU football after the break. Gear up for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. What makes Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi so smart? Its new advanced technology automatically optimizes data routes around network congestion. Huh? <laughs> Meaning you get fast Wi-Fi. No matter how many devices you have. So say sayonara to lagging and buffering. Hey, the more devices you have, the smarter your Wi-Fi needs to be. And there's no smarter Wi-Fi than Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do together. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all on the field, in the stands and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them, too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go. LSUshop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health, one of Louisiana's largest pediatric health care networks. 
We've met a lot of great families through our partnership with Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital here in Baton Rouge. And this week, we introduce you to Dawson, who's continuing to fight like a tiger after brain surgery. Here's his incredible story and this week's Go Hero Family of the Game. We presented at Our Lady of the Angels in the ER, um, and we were diagnosed with a brain tumor in the ER at Angels. And we were given the option of whether we wanted to go to New Orleans or come to Baton Rouge. And so we knew that Baton Rouge was one of the Franciscan Missionaries hospitals. Um, and I'm a Franciscan Missionaries alumni. My mom works for Franciscan Missionaries. And so it just felt like the right choice for us. Um, and so we got here, came through the ER, met Dr. McBride. That was on Monday afternoon. And on Wednesday morning at 5 a.m., we had a craniotomy. Um, yeah, so we went from a normal 11-year-old child playing baseball um, the weekend before to a brain tumor child who was fixing to have a craniotomy within 48 hours. I think he's he's always been a pretty easygoing kind of kid. I think that's just his his normal self, and you can tell that he's a uh, he was very calm through the whole thing. I mean, I, maybe he was nervous on the inside, but he never really he never really showed it. We had no idea that he would be as strong as he was. He rolled off into his craniotomy laughing like he was going to Disney World. <laughs> he smiled, said, okay, mom, we'll see you in a little while. Told his dad bye. Off he went, like nothing was going on. The community support to us has been amazing, um, but the truth is you don't realize it until you have a, a child with a medical problem and you think, gosh, uh, you know, years ago you would have had to travel at least several hours um, and in some, some instances even out of state uh, for the care, the types of care and the type of subspecialty care that, that kids can get here now. And it's a, it's a, such a big deal, especially for kids like Dawson. They have a very close family. You know, his, his parents were always here. His grandparents could be here a lot. It really hurts people a lot when they're going through treatment for, for especially big, severe illnesses like tumors uh, to have to be isolated from their family and their friends and their support system. I can't even describe how thankful we are for the staff here. We did not have one single bad encounter with any staff member. I'm talking about from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, everybody here went way out of their way to accommodate us to make sure Dawson was taken care of. They did things to accommodate Addison. Um, she wasn't even their patient, but they, the child life specialists were bringing things for her to do in the room to keep her busy. I mean, they just, everybody here was wonderful to us. From day one all the way through, I think we ended up staying like 34 nights total. We're the Cochran family from Franklinton, Louisiana, and we're the LSU Go Hero family of the game. Go, Go Tigers! When we come back, it is officially Saturday night in Death Valley. We have all the highlights from the game, hear from the Tigers themselves, and of course, head coach Ed Ogeron. You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron, thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light Seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach out the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay, I'm out. What's his problem? Wait, Whenever is packing the cooler really, time. really matters, there's a Bud Light there. If you believe in me, I'll be the first one in our family to graduate college. I'll be the one to change our history of diabetes. I'll live a healthy life. If you believe in me, I'll know my worth is more than face value. I'll be stronger than a weak heart. I'll know 68 pounds carries weight in this world. If you believe in me, I'll believe in myself. Belief in our children can change their future. Our Lady of the Lake Children's Health
Drive F-150 with 5,500 cash back. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the national champion LSU Tigers. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by LSUshop.net. For the latest in sideline apparel, gifts, and all things LSU Tigers, go to lsushop.net. Tonight we get back to football after an unexpected bye last week. Nearly a month since the opening game of the season, LSU returns to Baton Rouge and looks to get their first home win of the year. Second down and nine, Finley rolling to his right. Throws! Marshall's got it at the 20, hit there. Gonna be dropped at about the 21 yard line after being bounced back. But another great grab and a nice throw on the run for the freshman T.J. Finley. Finley going to run to his left. Got some blockers. Leaps over a Gamecock, but eventually tripped up down around the two-yard line. This time, Finley going to try to keep it. Tidy, David Davis Price trying to push him in, and he does! Touchdown, Tigers! Finley takes the shotgun snap, unloads quickly to Marshall. He'll spin, has room across the 40, breaks one arm tackle, makes his way to the 45, and eventually brought down at the 46-yard line, a gain of 15 yards. Finley looking left, lets it fly. Going to be caught by Jenkins at the 40-yard line of South Carolina. He's inside the 35 and down to the 33-yard line. Huge pickup. Shotgun snap, and the Finley again running off the left edge with room, 15-10. Slammed down at around the nine yard line. Nice pickup of nine yards. Looking to throw. Pressure comes on his back foot. He's going to be hit and dropped at the 10 yard line. BJ Ojolari may have gotten to him first, but LSU absolutely eats up the Gamecock quarterback. Snap is back. Little delay. Pulls and throws. Catch going to be made at the 34 yard line and bounce to the, around the 31 is going to be Coy Moore on a gain of 14 yards. Finley looking right. Checks it down underneath. Catch made at the 16-yard line by John Drake Kirkland. Finley with the snap, looking right. Throws, got a man open. Marshall, back right corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Seven-yard touchdown pass. Third down and five. Finley comes out throwing on the slant. Marshall has it. Stays up right inside the 35, down the middle of the field. 15, 10, 5. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers! With Fenwick in the backfield, he'll looks to throw. It's going to be intercepted. Taken away. It's going to be Eli Ricks. 15, 10, 5. Pick six. Touchdown, Tigers. 44-yard interception return. Third pick of the season for freshman Eli Ricks. The kick from Mitch Jeter is going to be bobbled at about the six-yard line by Trey Palmer. He'll pick it up. Near side, 15, 20, 25, 30, cuts back middle of the field. He's across the 40, 45, headed to the far sideline, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Tigers! Trey Palmer. He's up to Ty Davis, Price up the middle, he explodes, 30, 25, near side hash, 10, 5, and brought down, down around the three-yard line. Ty Davis Price, sophomore running back, joins him there. He'll get the carry up the middle, and he will carry a couple of Gamecocks. Look like he got in the end zone, and there's it is. Touchdown, Tigers. Finley stands in the pocket, fire, slant, catch going to be made. It's Avery Gilbert, goes to the far side, hash inside the 35 and down to the 30-yard line, picking up the first down and then some. John Emery, the running back. Emery gets it, leaps over the top. Touchdown, Tigers. 
We're standing uh, pretty close to your home over here, the uh, the end zone, where you belong. Two more touchdowns. Man, what, what's gotten into you? Like, you just can't stop scoring. Uh, I mean, it's just been a chip on my shoulder lately. I mean, every time I get out here, I just feel like I got a mission, a mission that I got to complete. So, I mean, that's just, just my job. I just got to continue to, to, you know, be productive on the team and uh, just do what I can to help us get the win. Just kind of give me a breakdown of what you saw out there, what it felt like. Let's start there. What did it feel like? True freshman coming out, first game. Were you nervous? Were you were there jitters? Um, you know, before I start answering any questions, I want to give thanks to you know my family and and especially the Most High, my my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, you know, like I like I said before, you know, the camera started rolling. I feel like God wouldn't have put me in this position if I couldn't handle it. So um, I want to give a special shout out to my old line. They made it easy on everybody. Uh, offensively, also defensively, we kept them off the field, you know, majority of the time. Uh, give a, a huge shout out to my running backs. That were, they, they ran hard, they ran well. Huge shout out to my receivers. They blocked downfield, they caught the balls. So it, it was a, a, a team effort. Um, another big shout out to my coach, uh, Coach Steve Zeminga, Coach Russ Calloway, Coach Ed Ogeron. They trusted me from uh, from Monday through the, throughout the week. So. Um, I just want to give you know props to them because without them, this is this is not possible. You're coming off a couple or, or a game where you struggled. There's a couple weeks break. There's criticism. There's noise from the outside. First drive, they come out and score pretty quickly. How how important was it to come out those next couple drives, get stops, bear down, not let that first one get under your skin and just do what you do. Yeah, the, a lot of the criticism, uh, we were hearing in the back of our heads, but we just wanted to focus on us. And just the first drive after that, we needed it for the offense. We knew they were going to build off of that and go down and score. And then it was just our job to hold uh, South Carolina to as few, as few points as we could. You know, we talked about it before the season. You said your goal was 20 touchdowns. That was in a 12-game schedule. Right now you're at, what, nine through through four games. So, I mean, for a 10-game schedule, you're on that pace. Are you keeping those numbers in your mind? Is that something you're keeping conscious right now, or are you just kind of coming out and playing? No, I'm just kind of just going out there just just playing, Let, just letting, you know, everything be in God's will. And, uh, and at, the, at the end of the game, I just look at it and, that's, how, that's what it is. Whatever yeah. the stats is, that's, that's how I play. True freshman quarterback TJ Finley started the game versus South Carolina here in Tiger Stadium. But who was the last true freshman to start at quarterback right here in Death Valley? When we return on Inside LSU Football, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, we'll have an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Coach O. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. for fall at Academy Sports and Outdoors. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. 
LSU Tigers fans. Show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Football is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in-store or online at academy.com. We are here in Tiger Stadium after LSU beat South Carolina 52-24. to And Coach O, you said that the energy was there all week long during practice. Well, we certainly felt it tonight here in Death Valley. What's the mood in the locker room now that you and the team are back on the winning track? Happy, you know, and, and really just the work. I reminded them of the work they put in, and, and two weeks ago I asked them one thing, just stay together. I asked the coach to start with me, do a better job of coaching. It all happened, it worked out fine. We still have some things to shore up, but I was really pleased with the performance of our team tonight. Speaking of being pleased, how pleased were you with Steve Insminger's game plan tonight, especially starting a true freshman quarterback and on a night when the offensive line really needed to step up, and they did? Outstanding. You know how much I believe in Coach Insminger. He comes to work at 4.30 in the morning, leaves at 11 o'clock at night, had a tremendous game plan. He had a game plan for TJ, and he had a game plan for Max. And we didn't even announce, announce his uh, starting quarterback until Thursday. What a tremendous job. He did double work this week. Let's talk a little bit more about freshman quarterback TJ Finley. Throws for over 250 yards, three total touchdowns, two in the air, one on the ground. How impressed were you with his first collegiate start? I was impressed with his composure and his mm -hmm. confidence. Uh, he didn't look nervous at all. He made great decisions. He made one bad decision uh, on the interception, but I thought that he gave our whole team confidence. He was fired up on the sideline. Uh, he, he's a tremendous young quarterback. You really wanted to get the run game going, too. Ty Davis Price goes for over 100 yards. Him and John Emery Jr. both get in the end zone with touchdowns. What were your takeaways from that group tonight? I love the physicality. I thought we have to out-physical this football team. You know, South Carolina had out-physical in a couple of teams this year. And then, like Will Muschamp, he's tough, he's got grit. And we had to match that tonight, we did. In the fourth quarter, the Gamecocks went into the fourth quarter, still averaging about eight yards of play. And the defense had some big stops tonight. Obviously, a standout freshman, another freshman, B.J. Ojolari with three sacks. What did you see from that side of the ball? I just loved our rush. I think our rush and our tackles for loss. Uh, guys played hard. Uh, this, you know, 13 is a great player, and uh, they had a great scheme. But I'm still disappointed on all the bus and the, and the guys running free down the field. Like you just said, there's always rooms to improve, and you always preach winning in all three phases. Well, your offense put up points. So did special teams with the Trey Palmer kickoff return, which was amazing to see here in Tiger Stadium. Defense, Eli Ricks, pick six. How good does that feel going into the heart of the SEC schedule after seeing all three phases tonight? It takes all three phases. You know that. And, and, uh, and everybody on the sideline with the energy, there's not many fans in there. We need to create our own energy. There was a lot of things that went into winning tonight. i got to give our players all the credit. Thanks a lot, Coach. Congrats on a great win here in Tiger Stadium. Go Tigers. The Tigers are back on the road and packing up the team to head to Auburn to face the Tigers in a 2.30 p.m. matchup next Saturday. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.